with everything going on, especially in Orlando, that's one of the first things that I asked the FBI to be here because we want to rule out foul play. Baltimore fire officials not taking any chances as far as the investigation. After around 545 Monday morning, a CSX train bound to Cumberland from Philadelphia derails both inside and outside the Howard Street Tunnel. Although the focus is of the tunnel, uh, we're also looking at areas north. north of outside this time, which is different than we've had happen before. The 124 car long train lost 13 cars. 12 are empty, but one contains acetone, commonly used in paint thinners and nail polish remover. With acetone is a flammable liquid, so what we do is we prepare for the worst. So with being practical and pragmatic, what we do is we're going to set up water lines just in case we don't want to take any chances. By midday, foul play had been ruled out and a recon team went into the tunnel to try and figure out how to right the derailed cars and reopen the line. Monday's derailment did have a few tense moments as roads closed around the Howard Street Station. Memories of the great tunnel fire of 2001 seemed to play back into people's minds. In 2001, if you remember, we did have a fire. So uh, fortunately right now we don't have that and hopefully we won't. While the cause remains under investigation, CSX officials say they are confident in the city's freight rail infrastructure. The freight infrastructure through Baltimore is sound, um, that it's inspected regularly, and that, um, that we have complete confidence in the infrastructure that we have in the city. Now, this particular line does not affect service on the Northeast Corridor for Amtrak and Mark Rail. We are told at around 6.30 tonight they will start to move these cars out of the tunnel and try to right that one train with the uh, acetone on it, hoping to open the line within the next 24 hours. Because of this, light rail service has been suspended from 10 o'clock tonight until midnight. In between the Camden Yards and North Avenue stations, we are told that bus service will be provided. We're live in Mount Vernon tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV11. Sorry.